It's so stupid, it's positively brilliant. The brilliant. Lizzo. Are you changing the subject? I was. I was, I was going to ask about something else, but I forgot about Lizzo. I didn't have a problem with Lizzo. Well, what you was going to say? I was going to talk, I was going to say, um, what do we, do we think these rappers are going to really stop, stop quitting drugs for real? You think Trippie Red is serious when he says he's not going to do lean and shit no more? I don't know, but I would like to see change behavior. I feel like Rocky, like when, when Yams died, Rocky changed his behavior mm -hmm. when it came to lean and, you know, he stopped doing purple swag and all of that shit. So I, I like, I would love to see change behavior, but honestly, no. Because, my, my fault. No, my, I say, go ahead. You say I was just saying, because I, I, it, it's all in the moment. Like now I was saying, it's like we, shit is happening so fast. It's like, you forget what you were sad about. Like, I, I don't know. I don't know what it is to grow up in an era of social media. Like, remember, like, to talk on a girl, I, talk to a girl on the phone, I had to have fucking quarters ready. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, for real. Like, I don't know what it is that every moment that you live in has to be shown and, like, that type of pressure and anxiety they might get from that. So, I don't, I feel like they just, they move on too quick. Yeah, I think these dudes got to show us more than, um... Just Instagram video saying that they're going to quit. You know what I mean? What I think these brothers got to do is I think he actually got to check into rehab. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, I think, because yeah. I think what they also don't realize is, nigga, you addicted and don't know it. Yeah. So when you try to quit this shit cold turkey, yeah. you're going to go through them withdrawals and all of that type yeah, of shit like that. Yeah. I think that all of these brothers, like Trippy Red, them who say they really want to quit, yeah. they're going to have to really do the work to quit. You got to do the work. Trust me, if you've been on that shit for a few years, it's hard. that shit is going to be hard as fuck to get off. And that shit might cause you to have seizures and but shit But I would like love that, for that to that be withdrawal. documented if they would do that. Yeah, Not but, that like they need to like show us their personal life, but I mm. think it would be good to be documented just because so we can see the process. Because other people seeing it, it'll motivate them to either get clean or to stay away from it. I, I agree with you because you're showing us everything else. Every time you get a new yeah. girl, you want to show us. Every time you get a new gun, you want to <laughs> show us. Every time you get a new money, you... This Word. shit smiling with the money and all you doing all that shit. Show us that. Right. You know what I'm saying? But but I'm just really take the steps. And I think like, you know, it can't you can't do everything for social media. It's like you gotta do well, first and foremost, you gotta be willing to to, to make a change yourself. Like and, and that's why I was saying before I can't blame future because yeah, future make a lot of dope songs to fucking lean and pills and all that shit. But you the nigga that's saying, yo, anybody got them perk 30s? You know what I mean? You making a decision as a man. Not right. you, you are influenced, but you making the decision to take it. So. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pay some bills, and I want to come back and talk about Lizzo, because I know um, Nala got to go, because she's an Uber driver part-time, <laughs> and she got a, 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 a ride. <laughs> I can't stand this guy. <laughs> so you don't have a pickup? <laughs> Yo, read the ads. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, turn your dream into a reality with Squarespace. Squarespace makes it easier than ever to launch your passion project. Whether you're looking to start a new business, showcase your work, publish content, sell products, and more, Squarespace is the tool for you. With beautiful templates created by world-class designers and the ability to customize just about anything with a few clicks, you can easily make a beautiful website yourself, okay? Squarespace's powerful e-commerce functionality lets you sell anything online, and analytics help you grow your site in real time. Everything is optimized for mobile right out the box And there's nothing to patch or upgrade ever Buying domains is simple And you'll get the help you need with Squarespace's 24-7 award-winning customer support Squarespace empowers millions of people From designers to lawyers, artists to gamers Even restaurants and gyms To turn great ideas into something real Head to squarespace.com slash idiot for a free trial And when you're ready to launch Use the offer code idiot to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain That's squarespace.com slash idiot Offer code idiot Now, Taylor has this in the notes she wants us to talk about Lizzo and what she wore to the Los Angeles Lakers game. Here's my thing. You can wear whatever the fuck you want. That's what freedom of expression is all about. And people have the right to criticize you for what you're wearing. I don't didn't like what she had on, but I don't give a fuck that she's big. I wouldn't care who the, who the woman was. It could be Bernice Burgos. Thank you. If you was at the game in a thong, it's a, it's a time and place for everything. If she was on stage performing and she had that on, great. Knock yourself out. If you was in the club and you had that on, great. Knock yourself out. Why are you at a Lakers game with that on? That's just my thing. Like, that's just, that wasn't, that was inappropriate. Thank you, my nigga. <laughs> it's just, it's Thank just you. that simple. No, because but... every time I said something, everybody's like, but if Rihanna, I, you know what I start with? It wasn't Rihanna. Let's start at that. Exactly. It's not, let's not talk about fantasy football here. It's right. not what we think could right. happen. It's what's actually happening. I don't, ha I don't have a problem with Lizzo being a big girl. I'm happy that she's comfortable in her own skin. 
that she's prideful, that she d- makes music and all that shit, but not at the Laker game, baby. But all I'm saying <laughs> is that wouldn't have been a subject if it was Rihanna doing That's that. That's not true. That's not true. You think y'all would still be like, oh, that would be let inappropriate. Me, tell, yes. tell, no bullshit. I go on I Meg. I think you guys would sound less offended exactly. if it was Rihanna. Exactly. I'm not offended. No, listen, listen. <laughs> no, I go on cause... Meg the Stallion page at least once a day to see if she twerked. <laughs> at least once a day. I, I enjoy nah. it. It's, it's, it's like that, that, that uh, train is never late. Always go there. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. If Meg the Stallion got down on her knees and started doing that shit she be doing <laughs> I, at the Lakers game, I'd be like, With a thong at the Lakers you know? game, like, like, yo, what are you doing, yo? You? you on the Jumbotron screens, Come all these on, kids yo. in the audience. I don't on. care who it was. It don't have nothing to do with it being Lizzo. That was just inappropriate. Like, and it, it, period. The thing and I, I know like it sounds it. wild to talk about inappropriateness in 2019 because <laughs> right. anything seemed like anything goes. Yeah. Right. But that was, that was too much. Absolutely. And the thing is, is like, then she turned into... Now, yeah, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty absolutely sure she gets body shame because she's a big girl in, that, in third. But that's not the issue here, baby. If you're doing your show, you got all the right and full discretion. When I'm trying to see Braun put up 40, I don't want to see your ass in a thong on a jumbotron. You know what's crazy? <laughs> and when I, I first saw that, mm-hmm. I, did, I thought she was performing. So I didn't give a fuck. I was like, oh, she performing. That's Lizzo. But when I just realized she was just in attendance... At the game. Like, I thought she was performing at halftime at the Lakers game. Right. I didn't know she was just in attendance. Like, nah, that wasn't inappropriate. Lizzo. Just because it's something that you don't want to see at the game doesn't mean she can't wear it, though. I didn't, I didn't say, say she, she can't, can't wear, wear it. it. Just don't, you can't I, wear that to the game. Like, it's it's certain places that it, it, it's inappropriate shit. It's like, yo, you can't just, you can, like, like uh, what's that? Freedom of speech. You can say whatever the fuck you want. Freedom of but expression. But you got to be held accountable for what you do. She has freedom of expression. And guess what? We have the right and to she, express that exactly, we don't like it. She's been held accountable. You guys are talking about her now. People are talking about her online. Magic question. Would she you do that? Would you wear that to a game? Me personally, no, but I don't really Why not? Tell me why not. Tell me why not. I don't even know. Tell me why not. But just tell me why not. Why wouldn't you do it? Just not my vibe. Taylor, would you do that? Not the Lakers game. What game? Philadelphia 76ers? Because you from Philly? <laughs> what game would you do that at? What game? You go to the game dressed like that? No. All right, okay, then. So Why the not? Because, no, nah, because Lizzo, that's what? her whole point. That's like, her thing. Like, that's yes, her thing. Exactly. That's what's the thing? Yo. You don't see her on Instagram. Like, she is vocally at about... her shit, though. Do if you're performing, no. fine. Lizzo, Yo, Lizzo, Prince was on stage Lizzo's with his thing. ass out, just like Lizzo, no. but he was on stage. Lizzo's thing is, I'm a big girl and I'm sexy, so she want to walk out the house feeling sexy. If that's what makes her feel sexy, then let her do it. And that's mind fine. you, Rihanna no, has done this. that before. Rihanna ain't never been Nobody nowhere with a thong on. Game. But that's what I'm saying. Where? But, but look, it's not at it's a game. It's out in public. No, show me, because I missed that and I want to see no, it. it. <laughs> Listen, Little Kim, <laughs> Little Kim had a no. shellfish on her titty. Like, it's it's plenty of people that's worn all types of shit, but not at the game. Show me at a game where somebody came with a dress on. Is it at a game? Like, why are you so mad at the game? Yes, because, it's at, yes, because it's at a game. That's not a yo. That's a what place. Is, there's no rules to what the fuck you can wear to a game. It is a little kids, kids, kids around. around. There is rules to what you can wear to a game. There is. But rules. there's kids around. Rule? Like I said, Rihanna was walking around like Rihanna that. Right? Never, where? Like, why do you keep saying that? Where was Rihanna walking around like that? Rihanna at games. And Rihanna always at games. Listen, Beyonce wears shit, right? Like she don't wear that, but she wears stuff. Show me what she do that at the game. If you was at a concert. Cool. If you was at an award show, cool. cool. Like I, I, I understand you trying to get attention at the award show, whatever, whatever. The Lakers game, that's, it just seemed a little okay. wild. So my thing is this: the kid, children got to be comfortable with her ass too. I mean, they see it on their timeline. They no, 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 no. no. That's that, that, that subjective it to it being on somebody's timeline. Is kids supposed to be comfortable with, with seeing ass on the jumbotron too? Children. They see it everywhere. No, else. no, we can't. We can't say that because I can't speak for everybody's child. Everybody's child ain't on social media looking at the same thing. You'd be foolish to think that children are not seeing that. I'm not foolish to think that because I know that children see shit. I'm saying that every child, if we're speaking sh- children on a general blanket statement, don't see that. If I was out there, right, and I had on these pants, right, and I had this cut out, <laughs> and I had a black sock over my dick, and that's that shit different. was just hanging that's with different. a black sock, oh, you and I was girl, out there shaking no. my shit. But you know, girls get double standards. That's only you know? different. But you know why? Because oh, the thing is, is that men and women have different body parts. Yeah. We have different body parts. But, but niggas can't do butts. that. No, but y'all both have butts. So a nigga can't do that. Y'all both have butts. If I was out there, show your butt on a job. By all means, do it, Charlamagne. I'll be like, yo, and y'all better say, Charlamagne, you look stinky. I will. I fucking out there with will. Your thong but, I'm not gonna, be like, but I'm not gonna stop you from doing it. If you want to do yes, it, queen I'm gonna be like, all right, whatever. Like, that's my. Do you want to? I'm gonna keep it hundred. <laughs> Look, if, we if, if, if you had your ass out, it's this a lot of different, like, different conversation. Now, as friends, 
I'm going to start asking you, like, what's going on, my nigga? Like, yeah, like, this ain't Rihanna. No, I said this is what Lizzo said to defend herself Let me see. why she did it. Let me see. Can I see that? <laughs> Yo, she said Rihanna, Rihanna wore a see-through gown from the 24 CFDAs. Once again, this is a gown at an award show. No, but Anytime, I mean, listen, basketball if, association exactly. If you are if you are artist and you're in performance mode, rock out. I don't give a fuck. When you so had old a, when people, too. So fuck old, how old people feel, too. Because like, <laughs> it's on their timeline, too, right? Like,